Um, just ignore that geyser that's bouncing around like Pong over there because I messed that code up a bit. But let's restart this. And yeah, geyser's over there. The stamina bar works just as always. And you can see the gear there is set in place now. And if I... What the hell is the uh, time skip thing again? If I time skip, the gear should move accordingly. So it's going... I think this is going backwards or forward. Yeah, this is going backwards. And this is going forwards. So we just need some sound effects over there. And you can see the time is moving. And if I press the menu button, which is currently bound to P, but we should find it to escape later on, time stops. The world. And yeah, uh, fade out, fade in and slide, fade out, fade in and slide. I still have to put icons here and the condition and fatigue thingy and the HP meters and stuff, but everything should function pretty much. You just gotta change the values around. <clears throat> and if I press W or S, things change. Gotta make. I still have to figure out how to make Esme's portrait uh, change or disappear or something. But yeah, um, room changing works now properly. This isn't the right room, but I just put it here for. Purpose and layering. Appear behind. Hit box. Appear behind. And this. We gotta separate this thing. And I gotta put a boundary so she doesn't go through it. But yeah. That works. And if we go here. Bam. Appear behind behind and on top and there I'm not sure what else oh yeah the day face um, I think it was eight yeah there we go works with the thing also gazers I kind of removed the water there for the time being and um, wait I, th I thought I set it to global Okay, there. Over here, it's working. Weird. I thought I set it to glue. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that. But yeah. And that's I th all of it so far, I think. Probably make that light fade in and out. So it looks like clouds are going and blocking through the light shaft. But yeah.